Have you ever wondered why a spinning ball curves through the air? This fascinating phenomenon is known as the Magnus Effect. It occurs when a ball or any other object spins while moving through the air, causing it to curve away from its original path. The Magnus Effect is the result of the interaction between the spinning object and the air around it. When you spin a ball as you drop it, the air on one side of the ball moves in the same direction as the spin. This creates a difference in air pressure on either side of the ball. On the front side, the air is moving with the spin, creating a higher pressure area. On the opposite side, the air is moving against the spin, creating a lower pressure area. This difference in pressure generates a lift force perpendicular to the direction of the ball's motion. This lift force pushes the ball away from its original path, causing it to curve. The direction of the curve depends on the direction of the spin. For example, if you spin the ball clockwise, it will curve to the right. If you spin it counterclockwise, it will curve to the left. The Magnus effect is not just a scientific curiosity, it has practical applications in various sports. In soccer, players use it to bend free kicks around defensive walls. In baseball, pitchers use it to throw curveballs that deceive batters. In tennis and table tennis, players use it to impart spin on the ball, making it harder for their opponents to return shots. Even in golf, players use spin to control the flight path and landing of the ball. Understanding the Magnus effect can give athletes an edge in their respective sports, allowing them to perform seemingly impossible feats. So, next time you see a ball curve through the air, you'll know it's not magic, it's the Magnus effect at work and see how this amazing phenomenon works in action.